Hey Sag, Maya here and this is your June 2021 love reading. So I'm going to start with a quick fast spread and then I'll do a spread for you and one for your person. So let's get into this. You have the Page of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands and the Hermit. Wow, yes. The bottom of the deck, the Two of Wands. So what I'm getting straight away here is that uh, there is an apology due, um, due to someone in this relationship, maybe for you, such to a person or from your person to you. And uh, something happened in the past where um, one of you uh, thought they needed to uh, protect themselves, right? Either you, Saj, or your person, um, you know, this apology that is due, it happened, of course, uh, it is due because something happened in the past where someone really messed up and the other person started protecting themselves. Um, they, uh, you know, got into work to distract themselves from this uh, situation. Maybe it was very painful emotionally, whatever happened. And... Um, uh, either you or your person or both of you said just you know uh, got uh, you know into work uh, to kind of distract yourself uh, from uh, the situation that is happening here you have the uh, the hermit major arcana card of virgo so yeah uh, the isolation maybe separation maybe you guys needed uh, to um, get away from each other for a while uh, to uh, get illumination or uh, clarity around the situation but uh, you are absolutely isolating yourself uh, either you or your person or, or both of you you both are hoping for a new start or something to happen in this situation you are hoping and contemplating what to do uh, about this beautiful foundation here um, that you guys had in the past but someone really messed up someone really messed up with the seven of swords there were lies uh, may, this deception maybe even cheating uh, underhanded behavior maybe being over critical of the other over uh, ju judgmental um, very shady behavior that uh, and where an apology is absolutely due well the passion is there the passion is there but um, now somebody is absolutely uh, protecting themselves here and uh, isolating and just, you know, work, work, work to distract uh, from all the pain that happened due to this bad behavior. Uh, but really this hope that this beautiful uh, foundation can be found again between you guys. So that's in the past. Let's see what are the current energies between the both of you. I'm going to do your spread on the uh, right hand side, Saj, and your person on the left. Please feel free to switch sides uh, if one of them speaks to you more than the other. It's interchangeable and it's not gender specific. So the way you're showing up, Saj, in uh, June is the Nine of Wands. The way you feel about your person is the Eight of Cups. The way you think of them is the Wheel of Fortune. And the way you feel about the whole situation is the King of Wands. A lot of passion like we saw in the past spread. And bottom of the deck, the Two of Cups. Now I'm going to do a person with a different deck to um, see any mirroring energies between you guys. The way your person is uh, feeling, uh, is showing up, sorry, um, uh, in June, Sag, is the Seven of Wands again. So this self-protection that we were seeing. The way they feel about you is the Eight of Wands. The way they think of you is the hangman perspective in the stack. And the way they feel about the whole situation is the Four of Swords, Four of Michael in this deck. And bottom of the deck is 
the Ace of Swords. So, uh, I'm tempted to say that this apology has to come from your side, uh, Sag, here, because uh, your person is showing up as the Seven of Wands, and you're showing up as uh, wanting to um, take action here. You have the Two of Cups at the bottom of your deck, so yeah, this is a very deep tool bond. Uh, divine uh, feminine and divine masculine that have a uh, mutual attraction that really chose each other right uh, deep love here the way you're showing up uh, is the night of uh, wands uh, Sag so it's all about fire it's all about your own energy Sag you're all about fire right and so you are on the go 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 uh, in June you you're taking action um, you know, the Knight of Wands can be impulsive because he's just raring to go all the time. He's following his passion. So, um, it's either you want to take action towards your person because uh, there's this apology that is due and maybe you want to do that and show them how passionate you are or you're just distracting yourself as we saw in the past spread uh, with all this action, all this going running around uh, not to, um, you know, uh, concentrate too much on whatever happened here between you guys the way you feel about your person is the eight of cups so it's either you left or your person left uh, Sag but I'm really getting um, somehow <laughs> that uh, it was you Sag who did something underhanded in the situation you know it's you feel free to switch sides but that, that's how I'm getting it and you feel that your person has just left the situation because of whatever happened the way you think of them is the Wheel of Fortune. So it's like, you know that this can be turned around. You know that the situation can be turned around. You know that there's this deep love, that they're not completely over you, that they're not even at all over you, over you, but that they had to leave somehow because of whatever happened be between you guys. This apology that is due, this underhanded behavior, um, it can be even self-sabotage, you know, the Seven of Swords. But something happened uh, that is warranting, um, um, uh, sorry, um, an apology. And I'm getting it's it, it has it, that it it should be you giving or it's you that uh, is meant to give it to your person, uh, Sag. But feel free again to switch sides. Uh, but the way you think of your person is that you feel that they're not over this. Uh, this cycle is not over. This. This, there's unfinished business here and um, I think it's up to you if it's you, uh, Saj who did the underhanded behavior to uh, sort of um, turn this around and uh, the way you're feeling about the whole situation is the Queen of Wands so again this passion that you're extremely passionate about your person or about this relationship um, uh, your self-confident Saj you're full of fire, you're full of creativity, you're full of authenticity and beautiful eccentricity. And you have this passion uh, for your person. So maybe it's time to give this apology if you're feeling that, um, that passionate. And again, feel free to switch sides. Uh, your person is showing us up as the seven of wands. So again, they are feeling self-protective. They feel that they have to um, stand their ground in this situation. Um, they're feeling passion again we're talking about wands here but um, they're feeling this fire but they absolutely have their guards up in this situation this card said stand up for what you believe in have confidence claim your personal power I think somehow whatever happened between you guys uh, made your person feel unworthy or really hurt them quite bad in their um, you know in their worthiness in their self-love and they need to get their mojo back, they need to get their power back in this situation. The way they feel about, about you is the eight of wands, so we go from the seven to the eight, and yeah, again, uh, they feel very passionate about you, they feel that they want this passionate communication between you guys, they feel that they want this positive movement forward between you guys, however, they are extremely guarded uh, in June, a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. So maybe finally this communication is going to happen between you guys, uh, maybe instigated by you or by them. Uh, but this communication definitely needs to happen around this uh, apology that is due and uh, around whatever has happened between you guys in the past. The way they think of you is the hangman. So um, 
the thing of you as not moving or as needing to change your perspective about things or that there are delays after delays in the situation and that things are not moving, right? <clears throat> this says there's a better way, pose for reflection and insight there to be different. Maybe they're hoping for you to take uh, control of the situation and maybe come um, up to them with whatever apology is needed here. Again, Sag, feel free to switch sides. The way they feel about the whole situation is the Four of Swords. So uh, they need a recovery time. They really need to recover from this. As we saw with uh, the Seven of uh, Wands, they, are re they have been hurt. You know, the Four of Michael comes after uh, the Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords. So intense pain in the heart chakra. You know, really heartbroken. And I, I feel that your person is actually feeling that, even though they're not completely over this. They're not over this at all. They still feel the love. Um, look at that. They have the Six of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of uh, Swords at the bottom of their deck. They are missing you. They f love you unconditionally, but they feel that the truth has to come out. They feel that they can just go back to get back to you after what happened, uh, without things uh, being communicated, being uh, brought up in the you know brought out in the open, and they don't feel like they can let their guards down, their guard down, uh, before you do acknowledge uh, such what happened there. Um, so they're in need of this time uh, of recovery, you know, um, this time of contemplation and just a resting phase after what happened insights that come from quiet meditation the need for more sleep or time off seek relief from stress yes um, so they're absolutely wanting truth to come out uh, around this clarity to come out around this a breakthrough to happen around this they miss you and feeling the love but they're not ready at all to let their guard down um uh, as long as whatever happened here has not been acknowledged in the open and uh, talked about in um, uh, fully, really, okay? So, I'm seeing your person, I'm seeing as this apology as being due to a person, again, Saj, that's how I'm getting it, but if it's the other way around, um, feel free to switch, right? So, I'm, uh, this is um, a potential um, outcome for you guys in June. Death. The star. The sun. Wow. <laughs> and the high front. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Wow. And the chariot. Are you kidding me? Five cards, five major arcana. Wow, that's that is an outcome and a half. Let me tell you, sad. Wow, look at that. <laughs> so, whatever apology is you, so the whoever, whatever side it's coming from, I guess it's been given and accepted because. Wow, I, when I saw death, I, I thought maybe it was the end, but it's not. It's the transformation is complete. This big uh, transition between you guys is over. You guys are completely healed around this situation. Higher level of commitment with the higher fund. I mean, and total happiness with the sun. Positive movement forward, completely healed success and triumph with the chariot. I mean... Go look at that five cards, five major arcana. So we have Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Cancer. So your person can be any of those. Wow, I mean, look at that. <laughs> this transition, this flux between you guys is over. That's the potential outcome in June. I mean, high levels of commitment. The star and the sun, come on. <laughs> Completely aligned, a wish come true, total happiness, leaving all the blocks behind, and just, wow, 
wow all the juices of life right there and positive movement forward in this situation completely successful um, healing here I mean any which way you put these cards together it's just the most beautiful outcome you could ever have and it's all major arcana so <laughs> I'm tempted to say this is gonna happen. You guys are getting back together if you're in separation or healing this crisis. Uh, you know, um, if there's a big uh, uh, rift between you guys, and just look at that, what's waiting for you right there. Congratulations, Sag. That's beautiful. So I hope this helps, and I'll uh, see you soon. Bye.